All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Second weekend working on the pool, got it all filled up. Yesterday, I pumped about 200 gallons of rainwater into the pool. Before that, it just rained cats and dogs. All right, you can see I got the water level between the uh, second and third screw over there. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. So one of the reasons I'm making this video, I want to show you guys a new pump I picked up on Amazon. This is actually a couple years old. It's been sitting in the box for two seasons. I never used it. This is a dual stage pump. It has a lower speed and a higher speed. I believe the lower speed is 1,750 RPMs and the standard higher speed is around 3,700 RPMs. And this morning I worked on the base of the filter, went ahead and ran a couple extra uh, three quarter boards, uh, screwed those together, ran it straight across down here on the base to support the uh, filter. It was not supported before and this is gonna be a way better setup now. Here are the specs for the new pool pump here. You can see it draws 10 amps at full 3450 RPMs in the high speed. Then the low speed, 1720, it draws 3.2 amps. Now there's nothing wrong with our old pump here. I just wanted to use this new pump. It's been sitting in the box. You want to be able to save some energy here. Cut down the costs for running this pool and eventually take this pool off grid and be able to run off a battery system. But the first thing to do is to work on efficiency and have this low speed pump. This pump also came with an electrical outlet. I've gone ahead and removed this because I'm going to hardwire this. This is a pretty simple setup. Your line goes to the middle and your white goes to the switch down here and then ground to here. Then the switch controls the uh, circuit for power on and off. All right, got everything hooked up here. Hardwired in, just like the old pump. Same connectors, everything's good. All right, so I'm also gonna put on a new valve here. My old one is kind of worn out and starting to leak. I'm not sure if it's just the gasket or it's the uh, top head here, but it's time to replace it. The original one came with a pool and it owes me nothing, so I decided to do this part too. The next step here is to transfer some of our fittings from the older pump onto the new pump. This makes for a clean and seamless install without having to buy new parts. I'm ready to put some water in this filter. I want to show you how I'm going to do this. So I got the IBC tow here. I want to show you my micro power box slash solar power generator, 18650 based, over 600 watt hours. If you haven't seen this, check it out on my channel. It's going to power the pump right down here. Show you that pressure pump, 12 volt. Let's go ahead and fill up this tank here. Then I'm going to prime the rest of the pump and get things going. Turn the pump on for the first time. High speed. Okay, that's cool. Let's take a look at the skimmer basket. Looking pretty good. Lots of leaves getting sucked in. Helps when you prime everything. Turn it off. All right, it's a low speed. Okay, just a hum. Let's feel it. Oh yeah, that's good. Still got some pretty good current. That's all we need, really. Low speed, 1720 RPMs. I mean, I'll run that 12 hours if I have to. 3.2 amps at 115, 120 volts. That's gonna save a lot of electricity. All right, so this is low speed. Let's turn it off. Hear what it sounds like. It's just a hum. Let's turn it off. And here's the high speed. That sounds like a regular pool pump right there. All right. And then off, back to low speed. All right, so this is uh, low speed right now with water coming into the basket. You can see the, there's still good circulation there. Things are getting sucked in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the power usage out of the pump. Right now, the house is drawing about 1,100 watts, close to 1,200. If I click on other, I think this is probably the pool pump, 720 
two watts. Let's go ahead and turn the pump off, see if other disappears. And it has disappeared. Usage right now, 429. So in the 400s right now. Let's turn the pump back on, see what we got. Surge there, we're back to around 1200. So roughly 700 watts. So we're pulling right now. Let's go ahead and turn the pump off one more time. Let's put on low, so we're in the mid 400s. Low 100, get the surge. Then we're at 726 roughly. All right guys, so we're looking at about 300 watts in the low setting and about 700 watts on the high setting. So definitely this is uh, gonna be a good thing if we can run this pump on the low setting at 300 watts. All right guys, focusing on getting the pool nice and clear. That'll just take a little bit of time, a couple days here, running the pump non-stop and adding some chemicals and so forth. Thanks for checking out this video, it means a lot. This has been a really good DIY project so far. Putting new parts on, a new pump, a new filter head and so forth. It's all good work and it's saving tons of money and hopefully we'll save lots of electricity with this new pump. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question and have a great day.